Welcome back to my battle map tutorial series where today we are talking about wood planks, fences, and burnt planks. And now we're going to work on walkways. Um, as you can see, I sort of have uh, implemented a quick walkway. So what we want to do is we sort of want to come up with something like this. And as again, you can see I have a nice uh, rough texture here. So when it, when it shrinks down, you can see those textures. So what we want to do is we want to open our planks file. Um, you should have this from the previous uh, tutorials and hopefully you captured several. I'm going to actually open up my original plank files where I have a whole bunch of different layers and I'm basically going to grab all those layers and drag them to a new file. So first we got to create the new file and I'm going to create it 700 by 700, 700 pixels, 700 pixels. Uh, resolution actually I want 72 maybe my resolution has been off no nope, resolution is fine okay um, and go for there so now I have a whole bunch of uh, planks in here so let's just space these out and that's pretty much all making a, a wood plank is as you can see this one's sort of a little bit rough there and that's simple enough but probably there was an edge in there and that's why, again, why you want different varieties of wood planks just to space things out. I'm going to put this one just like that. And this is all pretty much it is for creating wood planks. Um, but this is just for a real clear one. Um, and, okay, we, yeah, we, we won't fit one more in there. We'll just go. So we'll take one of those planks and then we'll turn them vertical. And now we want our wood beams our support beams should just be a little bit longer and I, then you also want it much thinner so i'm just going to take that and we're going to actually drop him down to the bottom so he's underneath everything and there we go and then we'll just duplicate him and drag him over to the other side and there you have your basic wood plank uh, we're going to take this guy and shift him because again there's that dual pattern and I don't like things being exactly to match up. Variety is good. Okay. So, but even there, you know, we'll get rid of our white background. Um, you know, it, it's not looking like that. As you can see, I've got a bunch of rough edges and some shadows. But if you're doing something quick, that's fine. So what you want to do is just go out here and we're going to give each one a drop shadow. And so again, uh, this is going to be a little bit different settings than our fence posts. Um, and we'll go from there, maybe make it a little bit, there we go, or maybe make it a little bit darker. There we go, less transparent. Okay, now basically we want to apply that setting to all. I'm not really sure how to do that other than go copy layer and just paste these layers on all these guys. Okay, so we'll just quickly do that. A couple more. Paste layer. There probably is a quicker way to do this. Um, not sure exactly how to do it. But so that starts giving us, you know, our, you know, little bit of depth and darkness. And as you can see, I don't have much gap between these. But again, it's, it's to your preference. You can put a little bit gap or you can. But now let's work on our edges. Okay, so I'm going to go to my lasso tool, and um, this is, again, a little bit tricky because, again, you have all these layers. You could merge all these layers down um, and just do it once. So a, a quick way to do this is just merge all the layers into the one. Oops, we got one more. Okay, and then just go down and, you know, ruggedly select the edge of the wood and then just cut that off and as you can see you know now we have our thing but we didn't we didn't maintain our shadow so we sort of lose our shadow there um, but you can re reapply the shadow but I'm actually going to go back up and I'm going to do this individually uh, you get a little bit more variation I guess when I when I see it duly see I still have my shadow 
So again, I want to select this next wood. And so this takes a little bit more time. Sorry. Uh, wrong selector. But I, I, I find it's a much better... Oops, I got two layers selected. Okay. Select the layer. You get a nicer effort here. So again, select the next one. It takes a little bit of effort. And I just jaggedly go across each one. Now you can add some neat things, you know, sort of like this one's a little bit broken. So again, on our next one, whoops, we'll just select it and we'll actually cut down in. Um, we can maybe even go a little bit further, you know, and so that gives us, you know, more of a broken board and stuff. And so we'll just keep doing this. And that's pretty much it for doing that now again this is our walkway and so again the spacing in between you want to do this on both sides uh to get even i don't want to waste your time with that and then we also have this where you have like some boards are angled you know the guy's trying to repair it or even broken boards so again what you can do is just go to your boards and usually what i do is i have my full plank and i'll save this off as a psg which is again why i don't like merging them down because i want to work from one common template and so let's just hide this guy and then i'll take this guy and i'll move him slightly and maybe angle him this guy you know is going the opposite way and so there you know it's already another separate new plank look style to create a broken plank let's uh select this guy i'm just going to go in here and select that and you can go over here and go like that and then cut that out um, and a lot of times you may oops you may want to paste that back in uh, if it's going to be on the bottom so what you want to do is just move that down down a few layers or put it up all the way at the bottom okay so now he they're above that and again you don't want it straight because it probably didn't fall straight nothing falls perfect and another thing i'll do is here whoops i'll select this one just this edge and then I'll go back in with my lasso tool whoops and holding the alt key I'll just go along the edge slightly and then I'll actually just get rid of the rest of this let's zoom out for that okay and then so back in here I'm then going to go and image adjustments brightness. I'm going to make that either darker, you know, to give it a, a worn edge, or you can make it lighter to say, hey, it's it's sort of a uh, fresh break, you know. And so when you look at it, you see a little bit of an edge. Obviously, this whole plank was selected. We don't want that. We just want the edge. Um, and that just lightens it up. So again, when you're here, whoops, over here, here, here I did a black edge. And then also I have a perspective which you adjusted slightly. So if we go to this guy, we can go edit, transform, perspective. Oops, we don't want the full one, so we got to cut that piece off. And again, we're going to go edit. Oops, not free transform. Edit, transform, perspective. And then we're going to just going to drag that down a little bit. And so that sort of looks like the board is angling down but again you can see it's still sort of light so what i may yeah, obviously because i lightened it but you know the board should let's take it with this guy we'll cut him multi-board break and then again we'll go perspective and just angle that in hey it's it's falling down a little bit We'll apply our layer mask, which I still have copied. And then, so another thing I want to do is I just want to add a little bit of shadow here. So I'll select that so I'm not painting anything else. And just again with my opacity, 24, 27, down there with black. You know, I'll just lightly go over this edge, you know, say, you know, to make it look like he's 
underneath. So again, he's sort of fallen down into the mud. And then this piece, uh, I should also probably darken. Whoops. And again, make sure you select it so you don't paint outside the circles because you don't want dark ground as well. That's a totally another layer. So there you go. That's how you can use our planks that we created in the earlier video to create different docks. And again, you want to use a common file. And then once you get it, you save it off as a PNG file. Save as PNG. Um, and as you can see, I'll show you mine real quick. Uh, where are we? There we are. Oh, wrong directory still, but organized wood. You can see I have a whole bunch of them. And, you know, like a whole bunch of breaks, like this guy actually broke in. Um, and then with Shadow, I had this guy, you know, he sort of fell into the water. So he sort of slants into the water. I've got holes with boards. So you can create a whole bunch. But again, what you want to do is create a base type, you know, walkway. And then use that as a template uh, for other files and such. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.